Hey, what's up, YouTube? Wally here, and I'm here actually to ask you guys a favor. I kind of beg you guys for a favor today. I'm currently in a contest to win a trip to go to E3. I think this would be huge uh, for my ambitions to become a video game journalist, and I also think it would greatly help me improve the content of this channel, which obviously would benefit you guys in the end as well. So uh, if you could please just click on the annotation on the screen and just head over to the blog and give it a thumbs up and leave a comment I would really appreciate it also if you could send this video along favorite it like it I would also really appreciate it just so I can get the word out there to more people and hopefully more people can go check out the blog alrighty guys I hope you enjoy the video I will catch you next time peace recent titles such as Minecraft Farmville and Angry Birds have greatly altered the ideology of the gaming industry these titles, which were initially held to be attractive for their ability to tap into outside markets, are now being respected for their financial potential as well. The gaming industry, taking note of the enormous financial potential presented here, is allocating more resources into similar projects. As the industry responds to this current trend, indie games are having a widespread influence on the gaming industry as a whole. Larger game studios such as EA and Activision have begun hiring subsidiary indie development teams, affording them newfound flexibility. These new investments help game studios to mitigate risks while at the same time allowing the industry to address one of its greatest flaws, the lack of ingenuity. Let's face it, games are expensive investments, costing millions of dollars and taking numerous years to complete. Therefore, with such large risks attached to these products, it's natural for game studios to want to ensure that these products are profitable. But how do we ensure that these products are profitable? By producing what has already been proven to work. Therefore, we are unfortunately left with numerous carbon copies of the same game. Indie developers, however, provide game studios a way around this problem with their ability to make games at a fraction of the cost and resources. By producing products at substantially lower cost, indie developers allow game studios to take risks and test the waters with new mechanics and game ideas. If the indie team fails, the studio can take the loss. However, if they succeed, the studio can further implement these ideas into fully developed AAA titles. Overall, the increased production in indie development games is a win-win, giving smaller developers the opportunity to get their products into the market, while at the same time allowing larger studios to take more daring risks. 